Today, you realize we are going to look at something that is a little bit similar to what we have ever looked at before. That was table of content. But for today's case, we are going to look at that is how to insert list of tables and table figures into your Microsoft Word. So please stay tuned as we go through this. In our previous tutorial, we looked at uh, that is how to insert the table of content. When you go to our YouTube channel, you'll always see uh, a, a, a tutorial on how to insert a table of content is more selling and I know this one will also be helpful to most of the academicians and researchers and whoever who is drafting a report. Now for today's case we are interested in drafting how to insert a table of figures and, uh, and, a, and a list of tables. Those are two different tables that you should always be in your report depending on the nature of your report. But for today's case, we are going to knock all the two at one. That is table figures and list of tables. So how do we do that? Like in the table of content, we had it on work before we initially went ahead and drafted it or to automatically generate our table of content. That is the same thing that we are going to do here. And when you look at the nature of our report, our report is characterized by both tables and figures. Like you can see this is a table our table number one and this is a figure when you look at these figures necessarily mean anything that is like a chart a drawing anything that is not a tabular that is what we call consider as a, a figure so this is a figure it will also carry figure one and this is our second table and when you scroll down you realize you have so many tables and figures we are going to jungle win. So this is the type of work we are going to look at. We shall see how we are going to generate our tables of uh, our tables of figures and then list of fig of tables. So this is what we have. And we can start straight away with what we are supposed to do or what we call a on work before we automatically generate that. So our number one was uh, about our table one it's talking it's talking about the farmer so this is our table one and now that we have acknowledged that this is a table what are we going to do what we are going to do is to give it more m it is automatically generated that is always reflected under tables so some people like to put their tables on top of a table i think was on top that would fat it low Wherever you want it, yeah, you make sure that you put the cursor exactly where you want it to be. If you want it to be on, allow the cursor to be on there. If you want it to be at the bottom of the table, allow the cursor to be that. Maybe for this case, we can take it to be, maybe that let the tables, the tables headings up on top of the table. Then maybe we, when we reach to figures, we might also decide to put the figure titles below the, the figures. So, we can take the approach. So, after putting our cursor here, make sure that the cursor is exactly where you want the title to. Then you now you come to references on our title bar here. We come to references here. When you click on references, then we shall come to insert caption here. When you look at this, there is insert caption. Then there is insert citation. There are two different things. We shall also have a video on inciting citations. Today's case we are on, on the insert caption. So we shall click on insert caption. When you click on insert caption, the dialog box comes in. This one shows figure one. But remember, this is not a figure, but this is a table. So you, you have to be very careful and be very cautious on what appears here. Now that the figures appear, uh, now our interest is on. So we shall come to the label here, and then we shall click on the drop down cap here, then we can for our label. When you look at this under labels, we also have an equation. If for example you are doing you're writing a, a more mathematical report that are, that is consisting of so many equations, what you can do, you can also put equations, maybe equation one, equation two like that and so forth. And then you generate a table of equations at the at the, at the beginning of your report. That is that but our interest is on table. We shall click on the table and then after clicking on the table, is this exclude label from caption? Uh, either you can do that, or 
can leave it checked. Yeah, when you check it, it means you're excluding the word people. We are interested in the word people, so we can uncheck it so that it lives in the table one. Now it is even showing table one already here from our point of view. So from there, we can now come and we can insert a, a full colon there, and then space. Then we type the table name. What is this table name? The table one showing. We can now go for showing. Maybe showing farmers groups or farmers name. Farmers. Or something like that so you are after you empty that it now shows that people one showing farmers group names whatever the title might be then after you know it that you can simply click on okay now there it will show people one showing farmers group names and then you can do in the necessary formatting that you wish maybe you're assuming one to hold it maybe one to hold it we can highlight that and come to our home and then we bold it we can change the font type if we so wish maybe we can we need the King news romance and then maybe also the 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 font size maybe we want the font size to be maybe 11 or something like that you can do whichever formatting you want maybe you want also to remove the the spacing in between of that you can do that maybe something like that so you realize now this is automated uh, Table of content, I mean, uh, an automated to you've given to your table so that it will now in position. So you now realize this now that this is an automated heading you've given to this, and it will now be so simple for you to generate a table of, uh, I mean, your, your list of tables in the beginning, just like you generated the table of content. So when we are done with this, we now go to the next item below that either it's a, a, a figure or it's a table. now this is a figure and earlier on we said oh we agreed that we shall be putting our figure titles below the figure so we can now put the space there and put our cursor there then we go back to the same format we go to the references from the references we come to uh, insert caption from insert caption now it shows already the table two because we already have table one there. And this is not table two. What we have here is a, a figure. So we shall come and click on figure and it will show from there that figure one. And we do the same thing, we give it a, a full I mean we give it a full a full plot and then there we now type it is now this figure rep represents sub counties. So now this one figure one showing. Respondents, sub counties. Sub counties. Something like that. So we know it is that, and it's the same thing like we explained it from the other side. And then after that, we just click on OK. Now you realize it gives us this figure one showing that. Then we can do the formatting as well, like the way we did it from the other thing. And then uh, after formatting it, you can now see that your thing comes into the normal. So, so that is that. You can do that, and then we can on the next item. Under this, our next item here is a table. Now we have a table, and we agree that the table we are putting it on top and create space there, and then we now come to come to our references from the references we come to insert caption from inserting caption we now see that it shows figure two but this is not figure two what we have here is is a table so we can now come to table and still it shows table two because table one we already worked on table one that was the first thing we did. and then now we can now assign this we can now give it to are now give it our heading which we are going to call it this is now the parishes or respondents parishes respondents parishes 
process or whichever heading you can give it. So after we have given that, we can now do the same thing we did like that and it comes in and then we now format we give the necessary format these are now the format we are giving like that so you now realize this one has come out very well and then we move on so we now move on to the next that is the, the table still and we agree that our tables will be on top table headings will be on top so we do the same thing we now come to our references from references we come to insert caption inserting caption this is already table 3 as you know it will show table 3 and this is now table 3 showing showing respondents villages move on there is nothing else we just click ok and then there it is and then we only do our formatting like, like the way we have been doing before and do our formatting here I can use on the space a bit thin that and then we move on our next item here is still a turbo. We do the same thing. Create our space there. Come to our references. Come to insert caption. And it's now turbo 4. You can now see the flow. That's what we call automatic uh, formulation of that. Then this one is uh, group membership participations. We do the same thing. This one is table four showing group membership participation, something like that, and then we move on. We can format this as well so that it looks a little bit nicer. Use the space in between there. Maybe we can also use this too much on top and add some space in between. So that is that. So we move on until we finish all our tables and charts. Will be now make to make it. We shall move on until we finish all our tables and charts, all our figures and, and tables. That's now when we shall be in motion to generate our table of, uh, table of figures and then list of tables. So now, if we feel like we are done with everything, we have labeled all our tables, we have labeled all our figures accordingly you can now be free or you'll now be a free person to generate your uh, table, of, uh, table of content i mean not we are done with the table of, you'll now be a free person to generate your list of figures and then also of uh, figures so that is that and uh, it's as simple as that so we can now go to the one, the one next step that is uh, generate this was and list of figures so we shall now go to our page. Depending on your arrangement, you realize this is my group of content which is here. Maybe now I want to put my, I want to start with the table of figures first. I can now create another, and insert a new page here. I can insert my new page. So I have my blank there. This is now where I want to put my 
list of tables. So I can come to this page and then you can eat so that you can include that as well in your in your table of content. So we can now type here maybe list of list of tables. Either you are starting with the list of tables first or table of figures, whichever you start with. So our list of tables is there, and then I want to generate it below here. So what I'm going to do, I'll just come to still my references. Then from here we are seeing we have we insert table of figures here. If you start a table of figures, you still come to this. And here we have what we have is figures. Then down here we have option label. What are we generating? We are generating table. So this table, what we are generating. And then after that, you can do whatever other necessary things you need. But there's nothing much. What we are going to do, we are only going to generate. Now there we are. We are having our list of tables here. You can format them a little. You want maybe you don't want to hold them say that you can do that so now here we realize we have our list of tables here so showing also the numbers where they are where you can find them so these are automated uh, list of tables then we can now go depending maybe if you wanted also to your or, or figures in a different we can do the same thing we can still come and create another or to insert another page so that we can have that as a separate page as well. So we have created another page there which is here now. So here this page we are going to name it as table of figures. So that is that. And then we shall also come and generate that. We shall still come to references here. References we shall come to insert table of figures here. And then here it shows already figures and is indeed figures that we are generating. Then after that we click that. Now you realize here also we have generated our table of figures. So that is how we do it. You can format this as well. And now you realize we have exactly things we have constructed. We have constructed the table figures at the same time we have also constructed the list of tables. So this is basically how we do it. It is as simple as that and I know this tutorial will help the thousands and thousands of people and please make sure that you watch always and always whenever you forget. Put it somewhere so that you'll always be positioned to refer whenever you have issues. So that is that and I would like to say Thank you for watching and please continue watching more of our tutorials and also subscribe and share with your, most of your colleagues so that everyone is enriched with the computer skills. Thank you.